hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this time I decided to paint this beautiful hornbill. Uh, hornbills have always been attractive and fascinating to me, so I thought why not paint a hornbill this time. I hope you enjoy watching this painting process as much I enjoyed painting it. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's begin. I'm starting with the sketch of the bird. I made the margin markings for the bird to know the area that the bird should fit in. The body proportions while drawing the bird are very important for the painting to turn out well. The beak of a hornbill is considerably bigger to the size of its body. For the background, I'm drawing a mesh of leaves and twigs. So hornbills are usually black or grey in colour, here I am going for a deep black colour for the base. As only black will look flat, I am going to add some dimension to it by showing highlights on its wings and chest. Here I am using white paint on the top of the wet black paint so that I blend the colour well. For its beak and its hood, again I'm using shades of uh, grey. The beaks of hornbills can be quite colourful. Here I'm using a streak of light yellow on the beak and the hood. On the lower beak, I'm using a tinge of orange to show some pop of colour. I have given a dark brown to the base of the eye and will do some detailing later on. For the leaves in the background, I'm going to be using various shades of green. So to know where which shade will go, I'm just marking a few green shades in the background so that later I will know where which shade should come. I have mixed a lot of water in my green shades to use them to mark. Also this technique gives me an idea of how my background is going to look. So later on I can change and replace a few shapes, match my idea of what the painting should look like. For the leaves uh, which I want to show in the forefront, I am using lighter shades of green uh, mixed with a lot of lemon yellow to give brightness to the painting. The leaves in the background are shown in more darker shades of green.
Once I was happy with how the leaf in the forefront looked, I used the same technique of blending to do all the bright, brighter leaves. For the berries, I'm using a combination of lemon yellow and orange to give highlights on them. To show the berries in a distance, I have also used a little bit of white. For the twigs and branches, I am again using some white and I will give some highlights with brown to show some depth to the branches. For the smaller twigs, I have used light green color. And now time for some final touches. Here I am detailing the eye of the bird with some white and grey to show some depth in the eye area. And with that last detailing our painting is ready.